Welcome back to JOJ. It's Kids Takeover. It's April 14th, and we're glad you're here watching us again. And the lesson for today is test and provisions. This is from Exodus 15, 25. After the people of Israel were freed from their bondage in Egypt and had their miraculous escape through the Red Sea, they began encountering challenges such as a need for water. One might wonder why God would allow a lack in such basic daily need after giving them such amazing deliverance. Yet God revealed this reason to Moses. He was testing the people's faith. Soon, however, God led Isra Israel to Elim, Elim, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> where there were 12 springs of water and 70 date palms. Of course, the numbers 12 and 70 were meaningful, with Israel being composed of 12 tribes and having 70 elders. Each tribe had its own spring, and each elder had his own source of food. Therefore, Elim was a place of not only abundant provision, but pro how do you say it? But also providential. But also providential significance. God was showing Israel that He would care for them perfectly. This is true for you as well, especially as you encounter your own needs. The Lord's hand is not too short to provide for you, and He has not forgotten about you. He wants you to trust Him in the unknowns. So take whatever you lack. You may face as an opportunity for God to reveal His perfect provision. And the prayer is, Jesus, I will trust you with my needs and all the unknowns, even when I cannot see a way through. Amen. And also, the verse, it was, there he tested them, and that was Exodus 15:25. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, what I took away from this is that even it's significant that God just puts these little hints that he's there, just like the 12, the 12 uh, the springs of water and the 70 date palms. Like, he did that on purpose, and it was just little hints that he's here with that he's here with us and that he's always looking out for us even when we're sinful and we're terrible people he still looks and makes a way for us yeah what I took away from it is that even like in the hardest times like God delivered the people but then it was again another hard time that they face like not having the basic daily needs that they needed and and then God deliver them again through that and it just shows like his power and his care for you and like even though like that's kind of hard to relate to like oh I wasn't in slavery and needed to be delivered but you have like your small like hard things that you go through and those are just as significant to God as like what he did for Moses and his people. Um, a couple more things I take away from it is that even though it's kind of the same but when dad had his heart surgery um it was a ter it was a scary time because he was so young and he, when he like and it was scary because he could have died very easily but the, they god gifted him great doctors and that's why he's still here today and they knew they were doing and they were led by god yeah, that's a good example but um i think that there's different like times like it could be big or small like what you've gone through and I think that like having a good family and like knowing sometimes you'll feel really alone but knowing that God is there for you and like even if you're going through times that like you feel like nobody else around you understands or like you feel isolated from everybody that like you actually aren't alone which is like a really hard thing like to believe you're like oh like yeah I know God is with me but like actually truly knowing that God is there for you and like believing that he's there for you will make like a world full of difference so that's what I took away from this. Thanks again for watching JOJ this time and it was a great lesson we both learned a lot and I hope you see us next week.